Well, today I'm going to show you how to cook a tri-tip. Now, tri-tip made popular over on the west coast. Here we are in the mid coast, so it's kind of hard to get it, but I'm going to tell you a place to get it, and I'm going to give you a really simple recipe that will even press the harshest of your critics. Let's just get to cooking it. Jump in your pickup. This had to East Nashville. Let's go visit my friends at Porter Road. Or better yet, look in the description below and click on the link. It'll take you to their site. You can look through what all the selections they have, put it in your cart, pay for it, and that stuff will just show up at your door. And pick you up a tri-tip. Now you can tell by the marbling in this thing, it only come from happy cows. But before we get to trimming, I want to go ahead and mix up my seasoning before I get my hands dirty. And all I'm going to do is equal parts, kosher salt, 16 mashed black pepper, and some dehydrated minced garlic. You know, you don't need a bunch of seasoning for a good piece of meat. And for trimming, we're not going to go too crazy. We're just going to get a little bit of this fat off the bottom of this tri-tip. And on top of the tri-tip, we're going to treat it like a brisket. We're going to take this fat cap down, maybe about a quarter of an inch. Now, if you're just going to smoke it, you can take the fat cap completely off. We're going to do a reverse sear. And that fat gets a little char on it. All that is is flavor. So season her up. Don't be scared to go heavy. This is about a two-pound hunk of meat, so they can take it. Get both sides good. Then we're just going to let this thing hang out for about 20 or 30 minutes. Then we're going to throw it on the grill. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. The tri-tip needs to be sliced correctly. So if you look here, in this part here, the grain runs in this direction. So that means when you go to slice it, you want to slice against the grain. Now up here in this bigger part, the grain turns and runs the other way. So what you have to do is cut that off and cut it completely opposite of what you did little in. Alrighty, so let's put it on the grill. We're gonna go with a Weber again for this cook. We're doing indirect. So we got my half pan here, our coal around the side. Now once you get a about a fist size ball of fire, it's about ready to cook. So we're gonna throw this tri-tip on, put it right over that pan. You notice I've got a probe here to make sure we're gonna run the right temperature. I'm going to take another probe and stick it in the biggest part, the center mass of this tri-tip. And I do have some pecan wood scattered out through this charcoal. So get the lid on, and always remember, you want your exhaust vent over the top of your meat. And we're going to open the top vent maybe a quarter inch bottom the same, because we want this grill to run at 275 degrees until this tri-tip reaches 120.9 degrees, which it did in about 45 minutes, but that could differ the size of your meat. So let's get it off. We're going to leave the lid off this Weber because now we're going to get this baby seared. So this is what it looks like, and you could eat it. This would be a smoked tri-tip. You could eat it here, but like I said, I want a little char on it. We're going to let this hang out for about 15 minutes, while we make us some bread, you know, cause man can't live on meat alone. You gotta have, you don't need vegetables. So all we're gonna do is take a stick of butter, room temperature, a little warmer, put in about four cloves, pressed garlic, a little bit of that seasoning we mixed up, a couple pinches, parsley, and some Romano cheese. Then all we're gonna do now, we're gonna give her a good stirring. Grab your French loaf, cut that baby in half, and smear that good butter concoction all over it. Then we're gonna add a little bit more cheese and we're gonna stick this baby in a 400 degree oven for about 12 minutes. And that's what it's gonna take to get this tri-tip going. So we're gonna throw her on the grill. It's gonna be hot. So this is where you just flip and flip until you get your desired char. And mojo tip of the day, Get the half pan out of the grill because it will make dirty smoke. And there we have it. We flipped her about four times. This is the char I like. Man, this thing looks good. 
And don't forget what I told you before. Cut against the grain. You can ruin your whole cook just by cutting it wrong. Don't ask me how I know. So pull out your sword. I got to give you the reveal shot because that's something we do. And here we go. Mm. We could stop this video here and it'd be perfect. But we're going to make it better because we got to taste it. So remember... We're slicing against the grain. As you see, I've turned it sideways. And look at all that happiness coming out of that cap. Oh, yeah, and the flies are back. Ah, summer. Alrighty, and look, even down here at this end, it's cooked perfectly and juicy. So, we're going to show her to you one more time. Give her a little floppy flop. Cut her and eat her. Because I'm going to stand behind what I cook. And man, talking about tenderness. And you can taste, we're talking about happy cows, you can taste the happiness in this meat. This is nothing like commodity meat. Man, check out Porter Road. This stuff's good. Alrighty, that's it. That's how you cook. Oh crap, I forgot about the bread. This is what your bread looks like. And this is what a good tri-tip looks like. So... Hey, give me a thumbs out. Thumbs out. I mean a thumbs up. It'll help me out. Mojo is gone.